What is up, my fellow Chibits? Today, I'm here to bring all of you the weekly Chibi Vlog. And as always, I'm going to ask, how was your week so far, Chibits? Because I got quite a few things to talk about when it comes to my week. But let me know how your week was in the comments below. So, if you have been following my Twitter, you might have heard this past weekend that my AC unit literally broke on me. And... Oh my god, the heat this week has been so, it's been so bad. It has been absolutely bad. Like, if you have been watching the weather and stuff, it's been a very, very hot week. It's been absolutely insane, and I've talked about it in the past. I don't have central air and heat. I have to use a window unit for my AC, so it, it can get pretty damn hot, okay? It can get really hot. Well, my AC unit broke this past weekend, and oh my god, it happened soon as the hot week. There was actually a weather warning in the USA saying, that this is a very hot week there's like a heat dome above the united states i'm like oh shit this is bad and my fucking ac literally died on me it's like a two and a half three year old ac so it's to kind of be expected but still my ac unit broke when it's supposed to be very hot so i was going around all night i went to walmart multiple walmarts trying to find an ac unit and i couldn't find one so eventually i in the middle of the morning i managed to actually find an ac unit not a walmart but it's like some form of knockoff store i went there and i managed to find a AC unit. Now, the, granted, the AC unit I got, it sucks ass. It completely sucks ass. It does not cool the room like my old one does. And so this entire week has just been absolutely fucking miserable. But I gotta tell you right now, I'm definitely gonna be looking into getting a new AC. But thankfully, I have managed to find one. And I managed to, ha I kind of have some form of cool air instead of just having to suffer without any. AC unit inside of my window. So yeah, my week has been rather interesting. It, it definitely has. It's been incredibly hot. I mean, this entire week has. And I'm curious, like, how has everybody else's weather been? Has it been, you know, hot where you're living? Because I'll tell you right now, majority of the United States is on fire right now. That's how bad it is. So getting off that, there's a couple of things I need to talk about. For one, if you all were unaware. No Game No Life, apparently, the new movie that was announced, I made a video on it, I made an actual separate video on that, but I have yet to make a video kind of a, with updated information. According to what I found out from fellow Chibits, is that the No Game No Life movie is actually going to be adapting Volume 6 of the Light Novel. So, that means that the movie is a continuation of the anime. For instance, it is actually continuing on past the anime, so it is not going to be a recap movie, it's not going to be a filler movie, it literally is a continuation of the anime. So that right there, really great news. I was planning on making a separate video, but I was like, you know what, I'll just save it for the chibi vlog, and that's why I'm here now. I don't know how many of you really care about No Game No Life, but I was just here to let you all know if you're kind of interested at all, the movie is going to be adapting Volume 6, and it's going to be carrying on past the anime. So that's good news. I'm very happy to hear that. Now, besides that, however, talking about other things right now, my week, besides the heat and stuff, it's been rather tame. It's been a very, I guess, mellow week. I mean, it hasn't been spectacular, hasn't been nothing, you know, bad. It's just, it's been a mellow week. And I actually recently finished Re-Life. Yeah, I finished the series. I made an announcement today on Twitter. I completely finished the series. I had a lot of fun with watching that series, and it's definitely a series I will recommend. I mean, if there's anything you could want to watch, like, from this anime season, you should definitely start Re-Life. It was a very enjoyable watch. I enjoyed the drama. I enjoyed the characters overall it was just a very fun experience it wasn't the best thing ever but it was a very fun experience and i enjoyed every episode it was something i really liked watching right before i went to bed like every time before i went to bed i would watch it maybe like an episode or two and then i would go to sleep that's kind of how i was you know doing with real life finally finished it and yeah it, it was definitely fun i'm glad it was recommended and i'm glad all the episodes came out at once and i got to enjoy the series it's something i've been watching with you know my little free time now another thing i need to talk about is that apparently many of you, many of you really enjoyed that uh, opening video I made. And I am very happy to see so many of you actually enjoying that type of video. And well, I found out a couple of things, actually, after making that video. I made a mistake, too, and I, I want to talk about that, actually. So I made a mistake in my, uh, you know, analysis of the opening of ReZero. I, I had to re-upload the video, and so the majority of you might not have seen it, but if you were early to the video, like the first 10 minutes, you might have saw it. I made a mistake to where I started talking about the fucking background with the sword. I'm not even joking. I, I fucking did it. And 
I went brain dead. I went brain dead. I, that, that's what happens when you go on YouTube and when you watch an opening song and take pictures on the opening song on YouTube, usually it's because they have to watermark it because of copyright reasons. It's just, I'm brain dead. I'm fucking brain dead. So forgive me about that. But yeah, I made a mistake on the opening song. Thankfully, I was able to correct it and many of you understood. And I, you know, I am human. I make mistakes. I'm just glad so many of you besides that fact really enjoyed the video. It makes me happy. And I actually managed to find out about a new YouTuber I was completely unaware of. So apparently... There's this YouTuber that actually does videos entirely focused on openings and ending songs, like, and does analysis, and I was like, yo, when I found out about it, like, many Chibits were saying Mother's Basement, like, Chibi, you Mother's Basement now? Like, you, you going into Mother's Basement? And I'm like, what the, what the hell is this? Like, I, honestly, when I first heard, I'm like, I thought I was being insulted. I, I really did. I've seen a lot of comments and stuff on YouTube. I thought many were insulting me, saying, like, I'm in Mother's Basement or something, you know, doing these videos. I'm like the hell but then it constantly kept popping up and I asked like what what is that what's this mean and apparently it was a youtuber that does opening songs say what what is an op and i actually went and checked out some of this person's videos and i enjoyed the content i just got to say thank you all for you know tuning in this video and just enjoying it and you're know, just sitting down chatting in the comments and stuff it just makes me happy and thank you so much so i want to open up some fan mail tv animation no game no life complete fan book complete fan book how ironic. I was just talking about No King No Life at the beginning of this video, and now apparently there is a fan. Oh. oh my. Oh, it shows the different animation scenes and stuff of how they anime. I like that. Madhouse, you better make a season two. I swear. You, you better. Ooh, I like that concept art. Look at this concept art. That's some cool concept art. I've always loved just seeing how much, you know, the team, like, the production team puts work into different series and stuff. It's just, it's really fascinating seeing behind the scenes and stuff. Besides just seeing the anime, you get to appreciate the work a whole lot more when you find out what people do behind the scenes when they're making it. And, you know, one thing, I, I've always loved the art style in No Game No Life. I really like how, you know, Madhouse did the little red lines on the characters. Like, it's not really noticeable, but usually when you see a character's drawn their black lines around, like, their, you know, arms and stuff or face, you actually see red lines around them in the anime. And I, I really love the, you know, design choice and the color palette that Madhouse used for No Game No Life. It's something I've always truly appreciated. So thank you very much for the Chiba that sent this. I have no idea who sent this, but thank you so much. Okay, so we have no letter, but this was sent. Macross Plus. Now, like I said, I have no idea who sent it because there's no letter or anything. But Macross Plus by Shoji Kawamori's Epic Series, the collection. I've never heard of Macross Plus. Volumes 2. Oh, and Volumes 1 and 2. Parts 1 plus 2 and 3 plus 4. Huh. DVD. This looks old. This looks absolutely old old this looks like something from uh, like 1980s or 1990s that's kind of how old this looks that doesn't make it bad obviously i'm just saying it looks old you could just tell by the way the art is done because you could you know in modern anime just the art style is completely different you could just see the difference in the art style from this old classic series so it, it's digitally remastered that's the english japanese stereo in english with japanese with subtitles too let's see yeah, it has pretty much everything that it would normally have. So, I don't even know uh, about Macross Plus. Is this, like, the original Macross? Because I think there's, like, multiple Macrosses. I, I know there's the newest one that came out, which many have been asking me to finish. I know this one. I think there's others, too. I don't know if this is the first one or not. So, if anyone can clarify in the comments below, please do so. Because I'm completely unaware if this is, like, the second part of the series, first part of the series... Please let me know. Dear Chibi, BOL here again, and I hope the weather has been good to you over at Tennessee. No, no, it's been hell. Recently from Anime News Announcements, it was announced that UQ Holder is getting an anime, and I'm not pleased with this news. If you catch up with Negima before this anime comes out, I highly suggest that you avoid watching it, since all I see happening from this is that the studio will screw up UQ Holder up. Speaking of disappointments, it seems to me that ever since you put Macross Delta on hold, Big Order, Iron Fortress, and re uh, recently Berserk, I, you've been constantly having disappointments. I actually feel pretty bad for you for getting slapped by these series here, uh, both taking time away from Across Delta and making you wonder why you even give these a chance to begin with. By the way, Chibi, the new Berserk anime is being done by the studio that was responsible bo uh, for both Terraformers and I still can't pronounce that German name, Showashkin Mark, I, I, I can't pronounce it, forgive me. Anyway, speaking of Summer Anime 2016, you may have been super excited for the second season of uh, Food Wars, but I unfortunately was 
was not. In passing, I did state that the Studio JC staff had more than enough material that you could do a Season 2, with the amount of manga chapters available at the time. I still support that statement, but there is always a price many anime that get multiple seasons have to pay. The degradation of quality over the seasons. Now, I'm not saying this out for bias for people who are anime only and only should go read the manga exclusively. No, rather I speak as a manga reader who really enjoys the source material but is concerned with how the adaptation will be handled or mishandled by studios that do not care to do it properly all the way through. I seriously wish that more studios would take notes from David Productions who are the ones responsible for the JoJo anime seasons to give fans and newcomers truly enjoyable experience. I completely agree on that. Studio Bones have been doing great work recently. The second season has only just started, and it, do it does not seem fair to judge the whole season just on the start, but after seeing that season 2 only had 13 episodes and with a faster pacing, I cannot help but be concerned. While I do not think it will be on the same level as the current Berserk anime, the increased pacing will warrant the studio to speed through key points that fly over anime on Lee's head, while manga readers like me will be angered that they did not handle this season right. Now, I'm not trying to say that I hate season 2 of Food Wars just from the initial episodes, but I'm just worried for season 2. Hopefully I'm wrong about all this, it was nothing to worry about. I'll even buy you a Food Wars figure with a character of your choosing if I'm wrong. Oh, really? Allison. If I'm right, however, there is something I would like for you to do for me, Chibi. And no, it's not you going to read the Food Wars manga afterwards. The reason that I have sent you some sticky notes this time around is so you can write this down and stick it onto your monitor that you'll bring Macross Delta, that you will binge Macross Delta if Sh uh, Shokugeki no Soma Season 2 disappoints us. Your friend, BOL. Hmm. So you sent these sticky notes here to make sure I remind myself. GG right there. GG. Good game. P.S. Say, Chibi, have you ever considered doing a two-watch poll for all the anime that we Chibits have sent you over time? No, I've never actually considered it. I think you should do just that, and my personal suggestions are either Ungo or Chrome, uh, Chrome Shelled Regulus. Before the summer at season ends, I'm sure that you'll be disappointed by at least three anime series that you're watching. Binge Delta if that happens to. <laughs> you really want me to watch Macross? I'm gonna assume. I'm instantly gonna assume you're the one that sent this. I, I'm gonna assume, BL. You're, you're probably the one that sent Macross Plus. I, I think so. So, since you're such a well versed in Macross, where does this series take place? Is it, you know, the first series? Is it the second series? Please let me know in the comments below. So, you also sent one of my personal favorite movies Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. I love this movie. Oh, is this the extended cut? To the this special edition. Uh, I don't know if it is. It doesn't say. But I know there's an extended edition of Final Fantasy VII. Now, hopefully this is it. But I'm a big fan of this movie. And I, I think I've said it in the past. I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy VII. Sephiroth and stuff. And you know how the game is being redone. We now know that you know Part Seven's coming out. It's going to be split amongst multiple games. Which I'm kind of a little bit upset about that. But it's understandable. Because they're trying to re- do everything and make it look a whole lot better so it's going to be a while before they can do the entirety of Final Fantasy 7 but I'm glad it's being you know remade and I cannot wait to play this game I cannot wait to play Final Fantasy 7 when it's finally remade uh, because I can't wait to beat the shit out of Sephiroth once again dun, dun, Sephiroth. oh my god I love that fucking song it's such a great song so thank you very much, BOL, for the movie. Thank you very much for the letter, and I will definitely keep track of, you know, how disappointing maybe Food Wars could possibly get. DC Comic Previews. DC Universe Rebirth. Huh. Wait, isn't this the, uh, when they linked all the DC Universes together? Wasn't there something like that recently? I remember many months ago, there was, like, something that completely was a great plot twist to DC to where, like, supposedly all the multiverses and stuff were connected. Let's see, DC Universe Rebirth. I I'm assuming that's what th what this is about. I could be wrong. I'm not well-versed in DC or Marvel or anything, but I believe this might be something to do with that, so... Wow! Kenshin, the novel, the complete first chapter, zombie powder? Bro, this is an old, old fucking manga. Yo, look at what chapter of One Piece this is. Holy shit. Oh my god, that is old as fuck. That's so old. Oh my god, even the color... Yo, oh my god, that is old. Fucking Dark Tournament, boy! Fucking Dark Tournament, you! The Dark Tournament of Yu Yu Hakusho! That is old! So old! Oh, jeez! Card right here. Hopefully you can make that out. 
and Zala from Destiny, I guess Gundam Destiny, I'm assuming that's what it is because it looks like a Gundam. I haven't actually seen this Gundam series, so I have no idea. That is cute. Little stickers and shit. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. That That's very cute. And then we got, I'm assuming... Oh, we got a keychain in there. A Kuroko keychain. Okay. Oh, my. Osumatsu. I still can't believe that se the series, the first episode, got censored because of... Uh, that, that annoys me. I, I cannot believe this series got censored. FYI, I think this is one of my personal favorite movies. Besides the Hell Chapter movie, you know, the fourth movie of Bleach. This is one of my personal favorite Bleach movies. It, it just it stuns me to realize that Bleach is coming to an end very soon. Can you all believe that? Bleach is ending very soon in a couple weeks. Before 2016's over. Before this summer season of anime is done. Bleach will be over. The manga. God, dude. It's just hard to believe. Oh! Now that's cute! Hitman Reborn! Still yet to start the series, but I've heard a lot of great things about Hitman Reborn. I've heard it was very good, but the ending was rushed. That's what I did here. But I heard the series overall, though, was a very good series. A fantastic series, to be exact. What's 1000 minus 7? Yo! That's the shirt! That's the badass shirt! Yo! What's 1000 minus 7? Yo, I'm wearing the fuck out. What size is it? Is it medium? Oh, extra large. I don't know if I'll be able to wear that. I'm not an extra large. I'm medium. We'll have to, I'll have to put it on to see later. But still, that's a, that's not a shirt. I didn't know they made that. Oh. I cannot read that. I don't know what that says. I gotta be honest here. I have no idea what that says. I can't read it. But I do like the, you know, the, the message though. Some form of magic. Is this a, a board for magic? Oh, wait, no. Oh, it's an instruction guide to magic. I've never actually played magic. I've never played this card game. I heard it was pretty good. I've just never played it. I've always been more of a Hearthstone fan, though. I've always liked Hearthstone. I think I made a video. Yeah, I think I did make a YouTube video on Hearthstone before. I could have swore. It's like, what if Chibi was a Let's Playing channel? I, I think I made a video called that. I could be wrong, but I could have swore I made a Hearthstone video. I don't know who this is, but she looks like Best Girl. She does. Definitely looks like Best Girl. Dear Chibi, this is some of the stuff I got. I want to ask what studio would you like to adapt Tokyo Ghoul, Madhouse, and so or Fotable. I also like to know if you think at the end of Tokyo Ghoul, Kaneki and Toka should end together, uh, be together. I'm more of the Eto ship, I gotta be honest here. I'm more of that ship, Eto and Kaneki, but I mean, if Toka and, you know, Kaneki get together, I won't be against it because, I mean, I'm not gonna be one of those things I hate the entire series because of a romance couple. I also sent a guide to the new DC Comics Rebirth. The other books, I think, is Dojin related, not sure. What characters in Shonen Jump long and anime would you like to pair up? Huh. Shonen Jump, huh? I guess I would like to see, in Boku no Hero Academia, I would like to see Ochiko and uh, Izuku to get together. Maybe May. I, I might say May, but I mean, I I'm still on Ochiko's side. I prefer Ochiko. Also, what Game of Thrones pair needs to happen? I want Jon Snow and uh, Daenerys. I agree with that ship. I completely agree with that ship. I think that should happen. Also, will you do a review of the Warcraft movie? I've already watched the movie. I don't know if I'll do a review on it. I don't know how many people are interested in me doing a review on the Warcraft movie. I have no idea, because I don't really review, you know, live-action stuff. I really only talk about anime and manga, so it's up to you, Chibits. Would you guys like to see a Warcraft movie review? I mean, I have watched it. I enjoyed the movie. Personally, I enjoyed it, and I'm a fan of the games. I've talked about that many times. I'm just curious, would you like to see a review of the movie of Warcraft? Now, sincerely, the great and mighty Hoculus. Oh, it's it's you, Hoculus. Okay. The, ah. There's a lack of a cat, though, in this. Usually you have a cat picture in these. Kind of strange. But how you doing, Hoculus? Are you, have you been doing good? You know, let me know in the comments below. I, it's been a while since you sent a letter. Hopefully everything is fine on your end, and hopefully you're healthy, you're happy. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for the letter, my bro. Yo, Jacob, it's Ollie. Hope you are well. Anything exciting happened this week? Yeah, as I said, my AC broke and stuff, but besides, that has been rather mellow. How's your week been? 
I've been taking a break from uni, working on a lot of life problems, but I literally have the two best and most accomplished people in the field on my side. Unsorry and Dr. Rashid, hopefully I'm saying his name right, with love, Ollie. I wish you the best of luck with what you're trying to accomplish, my bro. Hopefully whatever life problems you're currently experiencing isn't, you know, bad. Like, hopefully you can overcome them and become, you know, even stronger afterwards. Love who you are. We love all of you for that. Aww. Love what you see and feel. The world will love you for that. Thank you, bro. Constantly talk on Twitter with me, thank you, all the time. Always, you know, being someone that sends me messages and stuff, I always get a smile on my face. You guys always, you know, make me happy. So, ooh. Seven Deadly Sins. What volume is this? I don't, oh, volume, tw holy shit. Seven Deadly Sins on volume 21? Oh my god, I remember when I started following the series when it had, like, only six volumes. Uh, yeah, I remember following the series when it had only that amount of volumes. Cannot believe it has 21 volumes. I like the cover of that. This, I, this is my first time seeing the cover. I like the cover. I like Escanor too, his little weak self. We have... Ooh, another cover! So I'm guessing, you know, Escanor's introduction right there. I like how Escanor has, like, the the entire cover to him, pretty much to himself. That's that's nice. That, that's very nice. Escanor, praise the motherfucking sun! And we have volume 19 with Diane. Oh my god, they, you know... Uh, Nakaba Sensei really added those Opai into the cover. Holy shit. So, damn. Anyways, volume 19. This most likely focuses on the fight with Diane and Galther. That's what I'm assuming this volume is. Volume 18. Oh! Bond's father. Okay, I see him in the background there. Volume 18. I like how Bond... I like Bond's outfit. I, I really think you should wear that more. Oh my god. Oh my god. You ready for this? This this is a thing. Berserk. Volume 38. Is this fake? Is this fake? No? It's not fake. Berserk Volume 38. How many years has it been since the last volume came out? Holy shit! Berserk has a new vol- Wait, Dark Horse, wh wh where's my translation? Wh where where's volume 38? Why, why am I tra translating it? I need to buy it. I need to fucking buy volume 38. Where where's it at? Dark Horse, get, get on this shit, seriously. Oh my god, Berserk got a new volume. Oh my god. Well done, Kintaro! You, you released another volume! Volume 4. It, it's Overlord. I can see it's Overlord. Oh, it's the manga! Hmm. I've actually not seen the manga of Overlord. I haven't really looked at it. So, ma manga volume 4 of Overlord. Recently, you know, I finished volume 10 of Overlord. Oh my god. Volume 11 needs to come out. Volume 11 of Overlord needs to come out. Oh my god. Volume 10's cliffhanger. That that That's a dick move. I, I need to see what happens after Volume 10. Because that shit was fire. Can't wait to see how Volume 11's gonna be. It's looking to be pretty damn exciting. So, Volume 4 of the manga of Overlord. Oh my. I really hope one day Madhouse gives us a Season 2. Even though it wasn't the best adaptation, hopefully they do give us a Season 2. Overlord, Blu-ray, 4. Oh, shit! The anime of Overlord. It's not the entirety of it, obviously, but it's uh, Overlord. It, it takes place in awe at the final fight of the series. Okay, one of the final fights. I like the cover, too. I've always been a big fan of the artwork of Overlord. I like that artwork right there. Overlord Volume 1, The Undead King. Is this the... Is this the light novel? Well, I be damned. It is the light novel of Overlord. I've already read it, obviously. I've read pretty much majority of all the volumes. Well, I have read all of them. 
But it's nice. I'll have to reread it again to see the translations, because, you know, official translations are completely different from fan translations. I'll have to probably reread this to see how it is and how different it is. But, damn. Overlord Light Novel. I guess this is something I need to start collecting now since Spice and Wolf has officially concluded. It's kind of sad, but, I mean, at least, you know, Overlord is now coming out. I love the series. Tokyo Ghoul Volume 7. You can never have enough Tokyo Ghoul in your life. I'll say that right now. You can never have enough Tokyo Ghoul. Ah, I can't wait for the new chapter. Oh my god. I don't want to spoil anything if some of you aren't caught up and you're reading the manga. But that latest chapter of Tokyo Ghoul. Oh, oh my god. That is so good. I need the next chapter. Oh, I need the next chapter. I need to reread this volume. I need to reread the entire torture scene of Kaneki. I definitely do. I thought the Berserk was very strange and bizarre. But apparently even Hunter Hunter got a new volume. Huh. Volume 33 of Hunter Hunter. I don't know what to really think about this uh, cover though because uh... Uh... The hell's with the dolphin? I, I don't even understand. What, what the hell is with the dolphin on the cover? Like, Tagashi, what, 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 what's with the fucking dolphin? Like, what the fuck? You know what? I'm not gonna ask. I, I'm just glad to see there's a new volume of Hunter Hunter out. How far does this go? Hmm. Oh, wow, it was one of the late newest chapters of uh, Hunter x Hunter. Like, the first chapter, you know, that came out when it came back again, is the last chapter of this. Oh, my God. Hunter x Hunter Volume 33. To think it's actually continuing, too. So, Berserk and Hunter x Hunter. Oh, yeah, this is actually the first Hunter x Hunter volume I think I own, actually. Yeah, I don't own a Hunter x Hunter volume. Strange. The Gray Man, Volume 25. I thought there was more volumes than that. I could have swore there was like 40-something volumes in D-Gray Man, wasn't there? Well, wasn't there like some 40-something? I could be wrong, but I could have swore there was like 40 volumes. But D-Gray Man Volume 25. Damn. Oh, wait, I guess no. No, these are the recent chapters. Oh, shit. Okay, apparently not. I guess it didn't have 40 volumes. I could have swore D-Gray Man had 40 volumes. Maybe I'm thinking of One Piece or something, but... Still, volume 25 of D. Gray Man. I'm guessing the latest volume. And that's it when it comes to everything inside the package. So, thank you very much for sending this. I, I just can't believe, you know, Hunter Hunter, new volume, Berserk, a new volume, even D. Gray Man. It, it's really nice. So, thank you very much for this package. Thank you so much. I heard Chibi really wanted to read the ReZero source material, so I guess the light novel wouldn't be a bad place to start. Now for questions. Which girl is your favorite in ReZero so far, and why is Rim best girl? From Danny. What's up, Danny? Obviously, Rim is the best girl. I I've discussed this in my anime reviews, that Rim clearly is the best female character right now in the series. Nothing can beat her greatness after what she has done for Subaru. So the light novel of ReZero, volume one, is out. I'm excited because, to be honest, I know the anime is very good. Anime is a great series. But when it comes to light novels, you get to see inside the mind of certain characters. And one of the things I'm very interested in, why I want to read the source material, let me explain, is because... I want to know more about Subaru's character when he's not talking. Because if there's one thing that the ReZero you know, anime do doesn't do, it's a lot of inner monologues. I mean, we see some of it, but not a lot. And I would love to see more of this and uh, some of the things the way you know Subaru think. And that's why I want to read the light novels. So I'm, I'm willing to bet I want to have a whole new pr different perspective on the series after reading this first volume. I have no idea where this ends at, to be honest. I don't know if this is going to end after, you know, the first arc of the series, second arc. I have no idea how far volume one goes to, but I am looking forward to reading this, and hopefully more volumes come out rather quickly, and hopefully some form of fan translation team actually decides to jump on and translate the web novel and also maybe the light novels. I would love to read more into this series. So, thank you very much, Danny. I think this is a perfect way to kind of end this video off of with a re-zero light novel. 
I'm glad I get to read this. I'm probably gonna read this tonight. No joke. I'm probably gonna just sit down and read the entirety of this volume tonight. I'm not even lying. So thank you very much, Danny. You have a wonderful day or night. All of you have a wonderful day or night. Thank you so much for the constant support. Thank you all for being wonderful, wonderful Cheevits, and thank you for being my second family. It means so much. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.